Hello, my name is Judy Gunn and I just wanted to shoot this short video. I was just um, reading some information out of a book from Bob Proctor. He's been one of my mentors for many years and I love his work and I've learned so much from him. But he's talking about energy and vibration and we're all energy. We know that, we're all connected. But it was something that um, resonated with me and I just wanted to share that with you that we attract what it is that's going on in our subconscious mind even though sometimes we don't know it and I remember when I was reading years ago I was at a job that I really didn't like <laughs> I was there because I needed the money but I used to go to work every day and I didn't like it you know I was only there about a month and they said that they'd um, um, weren't going to have that position anymore and then I was um, fired and I went home upset at first and then I thought what am I upset for I didn't really like working there the universe gave me what I wanted so I became very aware of what it is that I asked for because if you continually ask for something in your subconscious mind it'll arrive and sometimes when you least expect it so a vibration is something that when we get an idea, when you get an idea in your mind, and it stays in your mind for a while, but you have to get it from out of the mind and put it into the heart. And when it comes down into the heart and it comes into your subconscious and then you put emotion behind it, you need to feed that emotion. You need to nurture it every day. You need to always be putting the same vibrational information into your mind to keep that vibration up and alive and then you will attract into your life the things that you want the people that you need to come and help you on your journey or maybe you help them on their journey so it's a very very powerful thing and it's something that I think a lot of us don't realize that it's there so I just thought I'd share that so just be really mindful of what's going on inside your head and is it in your heart are they conflicting or do you need to nurture your emotional state of uh, state of heart, really, your emotional state of heart? So I just wanted to share that.